So it's currently 6.30 in the morning, way too early for my life, and I'm going to meet Katie downstairs because we're going to eat I'm literally gonna slide down. So we made it to Taipei and we figured out the bus and the subway. So now we're just trying to find the hotel. So wish us luck. So we found Starbucks at least, but can't find the hotel and we're lost, so that's interesting. I got a rose tea latte, I really like it. We've asked people and we've tried to get Wi Fi, but we can't find it. So, yes, we'll go try to find more Wi Fi and find a hotel. We made it finally. Room, couch, TV, Starbucks, Katie. Oh my gosh, the shower looks so nice. It looks really techy or something. Toilet. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we just got off the subway and this guy's playing Frozen. Tried to go to the garden behind that, but it didn't work out very well. And went to Shin Lin Night Museum Market. Market. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> what <Look at> myself? <laughs> I just get distracted. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Look at you're glowing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
so I'm at a bubble tea place right now, editing. I love this place. But, um, I realized I didn't get a chance to, like, explain that when you're at this company 101, having lunch, and it's like, super good restaurant. It was probably my favorite place to be. But, like the Taiwanese couple sat down next to us and they were probably in their 60s and it was really cool because they started talking to us and we found out that they had lived um, like between 87, like 1987 and like a few years ago they lived in the same state that we live in and they put their son into the university and it's like 40 minutes from my house and I was like oh my gosh it was just one of those moments where you're like this is such a small world, this is crazy. But anyway, we talked to them for a while and it was really interesting like getting to talk to them and they gave us recommendations of like, what to do and like where to visit and stuff and tell us some history. So it was cool. But like they also told us that there's a typhoon coming tomorrow. They were so casual about it. They were like, Oh yeah, but things might be closed tomorrow because it's a typhoon, so you should probably go early and we're like, excuse me, the what? Like we had no idea. We were totally oblivious to the fact that there's a typhoon coming. So we were like kind of freaking out and we like researched it. It was supposed to be like a level of a category for a hurricane and we were like, oh my gosh. So like we were kind of freaking out, but it really wasn't that, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I think we just didn't know what the typhoon was like. So but anyway, so the next few clips are um, like the next day and we we're like monitoring the typhoon as we're like sitting in the in the morning and then later we're going back. But yeah, so that's what that is. This is the typhoon so far at like 2.15. 25 minutes before it's supposed to get really bad. We got food and how it looks. Walking back to the hotel now. Just heard the wind pick up and you can see that the rain's like kind of flying sideways. Just the day after the storm, there wasn't that much damage. Um, we just walked around a little bit, and then this is taking the subway back to the airport.